using a food waste starch bag to make some ribbon for my loo. I thought this was a quite cool idea to add some contrasting colors without using plastic. This ribbon here is from an old dress that they have and um, the week before I was mending it and this was some excess scrap that I kept for this. You can also weave using paper. Just cut some strips and introduce them to your loom. You can play around with different paper weights, colors and textures to bring the most out of your creative project. When using thicker yarns or larger pieces of paper, your loom will fill up very quickly, whereas when using thinner ones, it will require a lot more rows to fill it up. This new yarn is quite thin and it's thin enough to go through a large needle and this will make the weaving a lot quicker. Another technique that you can try is introducing some beads to your loom. To do this, I start off with a plain line. Now I'm ready to start beading. I am inserting one bead at a time and placing it where desired. And then I do one weaving stitch like this and I'm ready to beat the second bead and I will leave one string in between each bead. Once I finish this row, I will introduce the beads where there is the gap. This way the weaving will be compact and neat. And this is what the beading looks like in the end. My loom now is completed and there are so many textures and colors that I have used. Each section is made from a unique material. You can take your weaving forward in so many ways. For example, I have used this embroidery hoop to make a weaving piece and this is what it looks like in the end.